parts of the steel pan and how to set up and take down a steel pan created by Joel Davenish. Construction objectives. By the end of this tutorial, students will be able to correctly recall the steps for setting up and taking down the single tennis steel pan and correctly label, set up and take down the single tennis steel pan. Please also note that these steps can also be applied to the double tenor and the double second steel pan. When setting up a steel pan, it is very important to know the names of all of the parts for the steel pan and the accessories. We're going to begin with the steel pan stand. In this picture, the steel pan stand has an X like shape at the bottom. Some steel pan stands will carry a crossbar and it will look like an H. Some of them will have a U like shape with a stem in the middle and that's attached to a tripod bottom. Then we have the hooks. These hooks are U like shaped. They are attached to the inside part of the stand and this is where you will hook the steel pan. Some steel pan stands carries the section for the pan to be hooked as an inside groove on the actual stand itself. In this picture here pointing at the rim, the rim is a metal piece that goes around the top of the steel pan that is used to connect the plane surface and the skirt together. Then we go to the string. The string is used to hook the steel pan onto the steel pan stand. Those strings are secured with an electrical connector. Continuing with the parts of the steel pan, we have the play surface. That is the area on the inside of the pan that we will use the steel pan sticks to play on gently. That is followed with the skirt which you can find beneath the rim. Now the skirt comes in different sizes. You have short skirts, you have medium skirts, and you have a long skirt. Then we have the belly of the steel pan. This is the bottom of the steel pan. If you lift the skirt, you will see it. Then we have the accessory, the steel pan sticks. And the steel pan sticks is made of a rubber top and a wooden end. Sometimes individuals can paint the bottom of the steel pan stick or use a different material to use as the grips of the steel pan sticks. Then we now begin with setting up the steel pan. Step one, we need to make sure that the stand is set to the correct height. However, not all stands can be adjusted. If there are knobs to be tightened, please make sure that they are fastened tightly with the stand set at the correct height before attempting to put on the steel pan. Step two, make sure the steel pan is laid on the rim with the belly facing upward. Make sure that the seam is facing you. Step three, lift one side by the skirt and then hold the other side, lifting the rim and the string at the same time. Step four, place the string onto the hook on the steel pan stand. Step five, while holding the skirt, use the free hand to place the other string onto the other hook. And the final step, release the steel pan. Once set up correctly, the steel pan will be leaning towards you not away from you. Now here's how it looks. 
watch this video and if you need to rewatch it kindly rewatch it now the correct way to set up a steel pan was the tenor pan the double second pan or the double tenor pan first you look for the seam the seam will be facing you lift by the skirt then you hold the rim and the string. I am holding the rim, I am controlling the string. You hook the string on to the hook on the stand. Then you're still holding the skirt. Take your other, take your hand, hook it on, and that's the correct way. I hope you understand those steps and the video. Now we're going to move on to the steps for taking down the steel pan. Step one, you're going to hold the skirt on one side of the steel pan. Step two, hold the string and the rim at the same time and lift the steel pan off. Step three, Carefully release the side with the string. Step four, carefully place the steel pan stand on its rim on the floor with the belly facing up. Now here's how it looks. In this next video, I will explain to you what is the correct way of taking down a steel pan and putting it back up. To do this, we're going to hold the rim with the string. We're going to hold the skirt. I'm holding the rim and the string. So even though I'm holding the rim, I can control the string. Then I'm going to hold the skirt. Then I'm going to place it on the rim. On the rim, the belly is facing up. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I do hope you have enjoyed and you've understood every step that has been explained. Credits. All pictures were taken by Jewel Devinish. All videos were recorded by Jewel Devinish. The presentation was created by Jewel Devinish. And to request permission to use this video, please contact Jewel Devinish at pantutor at gmail.com. Thank you. Do have a wonderful day.